for those who don't know what it is, Line of Duty, how would you describe what goes on? Well, Line of Duty is a, it's a show where uh, a police unit called SE12 are looking for, you know, police corruption. So they're still looking for the police who are doing the dirty deeds, who are in league with the criminals out there, you know? So, you know, that's basically the unit. AC is anti-corruption 12. That's it. Yeah. Okay, so the series starts tomorrow night. This is series yeah. five. Yeah, I'm yeah. very excited about it. The one thing uh, that I'm curious in particular is how do the police react to the show? Because, of course, it, it looks at corruption within the police force. Yeah. And it's not specifically where you are. You're not based in any named city. I think it's No, no, well, we can't be because, you know, otherwise people would kind of, you know, assume that, you know, that's the police force we're investigating. But yeah. the police really do like the show, I think. I mean, they like the fact that it's truly kind of procedural. You see a lot of people, you know, on computers trawling through photographs yeah. looking for cute clues and so forth, you know, and, uh, and when they see you on the street, they sometimes... I mean, I was at the bottom of... Uh, <laughs> I was at the bottom of Highgate West Hill the other day and the uh, police came down the hill uh, with the blues and twos and they screeched to all, went, Oi, line of duty! <laughs> <laughs> they didn't follow up with your neck. No, no. <laughs> uh, but the Thankfully. weird thing is, I mean, watching it, you do get the feeling that most police are bent... I mean, it does feel, <laughs> from watching your show, it's like, no, you can't really, tr I'll be honest with you, you can't really trust any of them. <laughs> I'm not sure I trust you anymore. No, well, there you go. <laughs> or you, I don't know who to trust anymore. I know it is, it does get you that, doesn't it, after a while. Do you guys know, how far in advance do you know what's happening to your characters, what's happening to the other characters? Do you know about the plot twists in advance? Yeah, well, we get, we get the, there's two blocks, it's usually shot in two blocks, so two, yeah. two blocks of three. So we'll get the first three episodes, we see what's happening, you know, we can work out what's happening with the characters. In fact, you know, if we're still alive, Vicky usually gets them first. She'll read them first, and then she'll text Martin and me, okay, saying, "Oh you my not, God, you won't believe like what's happening!" And oh, you know that sort of thing. What, to wind you up? She winds us up. Yeah. My theory is that AD would need to fire up his laptop. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'll just get it on my phone and read it straight away. Yeah. Martin lives in Vegas. That's why he's not here tonight, by the way. Um, he's always going to be on a different time. So I get it first and I'll read it first. So yeah. you'll quit food? Then I can wind them up. Yeah, you can and wind say, them up. And are you saying that Adrian doesn't know how to work a mobile no, phone? I'm just is saying. I, I, no, I do I'm pick trying up to say I'm a bit of a Luddite when it comes a to technology. A, well, you're yeah. not in, on any social media, are you? No. Yeah. He well, has got his own account on Twitter. It's yeah, not his, it's but not, it's, yeah. it's yeah. run by somebody called Superintendent Hastings. Yeah. And so even your account is bent. <laughs> <laughs>